Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Leslie and tonight we're going to dump and go. Tonight I have my crock pot out and I've got that the rest of that beef, the beef tips. Um, I wanted to make like a vegetable beef stew with it. Nothing fancy, just going to kind of make it up as I go. <laughs> you know me. two cups of water to a bowl. beef bouillon cube. Not happy with the amount of sugar, uh, salt that is in these, but it's less than the beef broth that I found. I'm sure there's got to be some no salt beef broth somewhere. But we're going to use beef bouillon. Hmm. Then I'm going to put just a dash of my liquid smoke. Why not? And I am going to mix that around and get that bouillon cube to dissolve. Maybe. Maybe not. Alright, while that is sitting, I am going to add to my crock pot a bag of llama beans. vegetables. Just using everything I have on hand. Nothing special. You can do it however you want. You can use canned, you can use frozen, whatever. Whatever you have on hand. got a can of stewed tomatoes. I'm going to put that in there. And Mr. Boyan, are you melting yet? You're not? Okay, you'll have to melt in the crock pot then. with the juice, put it right in there. I 
I'm going to go ahead and pour this in there because the bouillon cube is not melting. I think it's going to require heat. Um, I have these little, ooh, little potatoes that I forgot about, and they have mold. I'm not going to use those. All right, I would like to add a little bit more water. Just to be sure that I have enough liquid. So I've got four cups of liquid, and I did that because I want to add this beefy onion recipe soup mix stuff that you can put any any that you can add to any beef recipe and it. it's fabulous, easy, and you're done. So now I want to stir that around. have about a pound, maybe a little less then. It's fine. A stir. Break those pieces up. Okay, put this on. on for about six hours and just let it simmer. Now it is six o'clock and I'll be up till midnight. What? <laughs> now I'm probably going to come down. Um, actually I could, let's see, 6.30 now. We'll do it for about four hours, three and a half hours, and then I'll come down at 10 o'clock, put it in the refrigerator, and then tomorrow on my way to work, I'm going to put it back in here and cook it for like 9-10 hours on low, just to let it 
slowly cook and absorb all of the flavors. See you on the other side. Hi friends, it's actually the next evening, about 6.20, and I turned this on this morning before I left. And it smells divine. It looks divine, and I cannot wait to dig in. I'll give you a sneak peek. So, um, I'm going to turn this off and let it sit for just a couple of minutes while I make a grilled cheese to go with it. I found my little wreath that I put around my fall candle. Still haven't found my sign for my crows. I had to go to the store for bread and cheese, so I didn't do an exact 100% shelf timber. Got some great value multi-grain bread and provolone cheese for a total of $4.86. So I'm going to turn this on to medium, let that heat up, take the spread and put some butter on it. 